the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz continues. Welcome back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. Some pretty great games in Texas tonight, especially at Carthage. So Carthage last week taken on Pleasant Grove. This week, a visit from a very talented center team. Expect some points out of this one tonight, and that's what we got. Kai Horton starting things off for Carthage. Dubbing it out to who else but Mason Courtney. Courtney eating up those yards. He's a hungry man. Going to be pushed out of bounds right here, but not before getting deep into center territory. More Horton now. Stepping back, throwing it up for Montrell Hatton. Hatton, what a catch coming down with it. That's good for the score. Rough Riders on offense now. Speaking of rough riding, this is just rough. This is Braden Wade Wade stepping in front of the pass and stepping on the gas. Zooming past the center offense, takes this all the way back for the pick six in Carthage. They handle center 56 to 14. Let's go up to Texarkana. Texas High looking for a 3-0 start at home against Forney tonight. Jumping right into it, that's Clayton Smith with the big touchdown grab right there. Easy six early. Now Forney's Braden Kirkland now feeling the kickoff, makes a single cut and hits the afterburners. No one going to catch this kid. 80 yards to the house and Forney quickly answering. Now more Texas High here. This is Brayson McHenry. Going to Ryan Sellers for the touchdown. All Texas high tonight as they run over the Jackrabbits. 49 to 10, the final. Sticking with the Rabbits theme, the Atlanta Rabbits looking to build off their first win of the season last week. This week, taking on Gladewater. Gladewater starting things off. DJ Allen hauling in the pass in the flats. And look at this. He literally strolls into the end zone. He has an escort there. No one wants to touch him. 7 0 Gladewater early. Gladewater on offense again. This time it's Atlanta's Isaiah Henderson shutting things down, getting the quarterback sacked there. Atlanta back on offense. Cameron Dickerson hauling in the pass from Justin Pearson. Dickerson doing the dirty work. He's in for the score. Atlanta and can't get they can't stay in the win column. They lose to Gladewater 42 to 27. Wascom at home for this week's tilt against Hugh Springs and Wildcats. Going to get right to work here. Toss is going to go to Kai Willett. He is going to get the corner and then off to the races. Roughly 80 yards all the way to the house. Wascom going to lead it 7 to nothing at that point. I think he's out still running <laughs> all the way south through is. Texas there. Now, Hugh Springs trying to get something going. It's not going to help. A ball on the ground. Jonathan Branch able to recover it for Wascom. Wildcats are going to take over and they are going to make the Mustangs pay. DJ Feaster, he's been our player of the week already once this year, getting the edge, taking it down to around the 15 yard line. And then a few plays later, Wascom is going to find the end zone once again. This time it's Tayshawn Hamilton reaching pay dirt. Wildcats extending the lead to 14. Then just before the end of the first quarter, Wascom Going to look for more here. Going airborne this time. Don't see that very often with the Wildcats. Cole Watson to DJ Feaster. 57 yard strike. This one all Wascom tonight as they roll 49 to 8. Jefferson trying to rebound from a close loss to White Oak on the road at Sabine tonight. First quarter. Jefferson quarterback Joshua Thomas. Hand it off to Malik Brasher. Dip and dodge. Watch him go. He's going to take it all the way in for the touchdown. That's how you do it right there. Weaving in and out. Impressive stuff. Sabine, they will respond. Jace Burns throwing it long to Caden Manning. He's trying to catch in the end zone, but that's Jefferson's Carlos Jackson. He's right there with them, leaving Sabine coming up short. No points there. Cardinals will get another chance. It's Jace Burns. This time he's going to get the job done himself. Tying the game at the end of the first quarter, 7-7. Seven to seven. And Jefferson, they get the 41-34 win over Sabine tonight. Now Beckville at home for their Week 7 contest, taking on Union Grove. And this is Ryan Harris looking for Milo Harrison. Milo on the swing pass there, getting a nice chunk of yards before finally being brought down. The next play, jet sweeps, always fun. Jacoby <laughs> Williams, he agrees with that, cutting back. Breaking through arm tackles and he's making a house call. No one's going to catch him. 38 yards later, he is in the end zone. They're up seven to nothing. Union Grove now in Bearcat territory. And their quarterback 
is going to go to Matthew Bowser. Great name there, Bowser. Bowser, Always gotta one of love my it. Favorite characters from the Mario franchise. Oh, yeah. Finding a crease and see you later. Bowser off to the races, but it would not be enough. Beckville getting the win over Union Grove tonight. 31 to 8, the final score. Coming up with the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz, we head over to Arkansas. Arkansas High and Nashville both back in action. We'll check out those games next. Hi, NBC 6, Friday Night Blitz.